Hey superstars, it's been a minute since I've done one of these, so let me get out my checklist. Let's see, step one, introduction, where I talk a little bit too fast. Okay, here goes. Welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him through the mail for an autograph. I'm doing my best to help out Team 50s and 60s in Caleb's Battle of the Decades contest. So today I'm drawing Mr. Bill Verdon. 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 Sounds like an evil Godzilla monster. We'll have to pin that. Step two. Boring Wikipedia facts. Let's see. He's 89 years old. He won the NL Rookie of the Year in 1955, then was traded from the Cardinals to the Pirates in 1956. It says he was a premier defensive outfielder. He was on the Pirates World Series winning team in 1960, and he won a gold glove in 1962. After his playing career, he went on to manage the Pirates, Yankees, Astros, and Expos. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, step three. Make up some weird nonsense. Now, when I started writing the script this morning, I'd planned to talk about how William Charles Verdon, with a name like that and those glasses, was pegged as a chess player. You know, with the popularity of Queen's Gambit, the whole chess angle might help me get some views on YouTube. But I do like that Godzilla monster angle. How about this? He was so terrible at chess that when he'd lose, he'd just sort of hulk out and become this big kaiju monster, Verdon. He grew big dragon wings, extra huge stompy feet, and he could shoot lasers out of his eyeballs. He terrorized his hometown of Hazel Park, Michigan, destroying everything in sight until somebody learned that all they had to do to calm him down was play that old Leon Redbone record. Big bad build is sweet William now. And then, after hearing Leon's luscious crooning, which is way better than mine, by the way, he'd revert back to sweet little William. His parents couldn't afford to keep rebuilding Hazel Park, so they moved to West Plains, Missouri, where his counselor suggested that they find a hobby that he was actually good at. After trying a multitude of sports and destroying a multitude of sleepy suburbs, Sweet William fell in love with baseball, and the Midwest was saved. Step 4. I ponder if I'm a genius, or if I've just made a complete fool of myself yet again, and I awkwardly revert to just letting the music play out for a little bit. Step 5. I show you that I'm done and what I plan to have signed. Nice looking 1965 Topps card. I pretend to put everything in an envelope and then I show you my overused mailbox footage. Step 6. The Big Reveal. Let's see what we got. Nice. Signed the doodle, answered some questions, sort of. Enjoyed winning the gold glove more than his rookie of the year. Maybe if I had drawn him destroying a small city, I could have been his favorite artist. And there's our card. Looks great. I told him to keep the doodle, but since he signed it, I've sent it to Autographs for a Cure where you can buy it and help fund cancer research. There may be a couple other doodles available over there too. Wink, wink. Uh, link is in the description below. Step seven, gratitude. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Verdon. Thank you guys for watching. Step eight, call to action. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we will see you next time.